All right. Uh, hello. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up the forgotten server one dot TFS one dot two. Uh, we're going to set up database, a website, and a, a fully working server, and we're going to c connect using Utiland IP Changer. So what you want to do is you want to start with download the server. So you enter this the GitHub, and then you press this. If you have 64, which I suppose you have. And if you want to compile at your own, you can do that, but you need to uh, find the tutorial on Utiland and do it yourself. So we're going to use the compiled exe file, which is inside this. So what you want to do is download this, and then you want to open a new tab, and then you want to search up Utiland, um, get see your uh, TFS, TFS 1.0, and then you want to enter this first one here, and then you enter this GitHub here. And when you're inside here, I think I see your, I I'm just going to link this down in the description so you don't have to look it up. Then you press clone and download zip. And it should be popping up here if you use Google Chrome. And then you drag it to your desktop. And what you want to do next is download the I Utiland IP changer. Which you should have here. And when you have downloaded that, just drag that to your desktop. I already have that on my desktop, sadly, so I'm not going to do that. And what you want to do next is download XAMPP, which I'm going to use in this tutorial. So you just enter here, press download here. And it should be downloading. It's uh, quite a big file, so it might take a while if you have a slow internet. But let's continue. When you have those here, and the Utiland IP changer here, Wait, I'm just going to do this instead. Just in case. Um. All right, when you have those three here and the XAMPP set up, which I'm not going to show you how to because it's pretty easy to just mm, go through the whole setup. So I I when you're done, you just open this, uh, the server folder, the forgot the server, you drag it out on the desktop like this and when you have it there you put it there and then you have the gesir arc here you can leave it for now so what you want to do is you want to enter this uh, this uh, server folder and then you enter the config and if you don't have notepad plus plus i recommend you to download it else it will look look like this it will look like this which you can use but it's annoying so use notepad plus plus so what you want to do is you want to check the ip address is put to this 127.0.0.1 and what you want to do next is go down to mysql here and at mysql host you take localhost what you want uh, what you do next is user you use root and mysql pass here you leave it blank because i suppose you haven't downloaded example and set up a user and a password so what you want to do next is use this or something else. For now, I'm going to use tutorial. And what you want to do next is just simply go down hi here, hit the enter button and type password type equals and those. And then you take SHA1. This I'm going to leave this down in the description as well. So when you have done this, you're going to save it and then you're going to close it. And what you want to do next is just open the database. So you open XAMPP, control panel, then you pr press start on Apache and MySQL. And what you, uh, what you do next is hit this admin button here. So you come to this, uh, this page here, then you want to click on databases and type it in. When you when you are at the tutorial here, you want to import and then choose file, and then you want to go to desktop, into the folder and take schema.sql, and then press open, and then press go down here. And that should add the whole uh, database. And when you have done that, you want to enter a, a folder here, file explorer. You go to your C drive. And then you go down to XAMPP, 
and then you go down to hdocs and when you're in here you want to delete everything that's in there you don't want anything uh, it will be a few files in here so you just delete them you don't want you just want it empty so when you have done that you want to open the gazeer the gazeer arc and then you enter this and then you take every file that's in here in here and drag it in here and then you can close the winrar when you've done that you want to enter here enter your browser enter localhost and when you are here you see you must install ack please vi visit this and then you press that and if this pops up you just take you simply copy this ip address that's here you go into the htdocs file and then you double click on this install here so this po pops up then you replace this and uh, hit file and save and then you just simply refresh this and this will pop up then you press set server path at one and what you want to do is you want to go to the server fo uh, server folder and you want to copy this you copy all this and then you paste it in here and it should be working because you use the same and then you press step two step three and this might take a while because it's adding into the database And when you're done with this, you want to click a a step four, add samples. And now night sample, paladin, druid, sorcery, rook has been added. Then you, you, then you press the five, set admin account. And here you see new password. You want to type your password you want to use for the admin account, which is just having the samples. Uh, for me, I'm just going to use test because uh, it's for a tutorial. Then I press set. And then this admin account, login one, admin account password test. And then you, then you go in here and type localhost. And then you have a uh, website set up on your localhost. And then you create account. I'm just going to use one, two, three. And what you want to do is just simply create a character on the account. And if you did it right, you should see a account is created in the database. So here ID2123 with a encrypted password. So when you've done this, you can simply just minimize the whole browser and you can go here and you can start the server. And when it started up, you want to do this. You want to open this IP changer. And then you want to download the client, the 10.98. I think you can uh, find it here. No, you can't. Uh, then you go to Google. Uh, TBA 10.98 client download. And then you go into the first one, utslist.org. Then you take this, uh, TBA 10.98. And then you download this through Mediafire. And this will take a while, so I will skip this. So once you download the tibia.98, you can minimize this and drag it out on your desktop. And when you've done this, you want to open it. And then you can double click this. And this should pop up. And then you press next. I, ac I, I accept the agreements. Next, and then you click browse. You can take it at your local disk C drive. And then you just install this and you don't need a, a desktop icon for this so you just install and when this is finished you want to enter here and enter your c drive and once you're at your c drive you can just copy paste this out on the desktop so what you want to do is utilan ip changer here and use the same ip 127.0.0.1 and then you press settings always launch a new a new client if you want this and you can even force graphic and you to direct x9 and then you do this you create you take add a new tiba client add a new tiba client and then you take here version you type 1098 
path, you take browse, desktop, and then you take the tibia there, and then you take here, the client there, 10.98, open, add, close, apply. Don't forget to uh, take the 10.98 so you don't get any other client. And then you click apply. And when you're in here, you can go to the info tab and see that it's version 10.98. So when you're in here, you press enter. And you sh should see this Invail account name. And then you can log in to your account. And you should be good to go. A server is created. So if you want to add yourself as a god, you simply go into, you can minimize everything. So you can enter here, forgot the server, data, XML. And when you see groups here, you can right click, edit with notepad. As you see here, the ID here is three that is set to god. So what you want to do is close this and enter your database. Once you're inside, you want to take accounts here, and then you need to log out your character. You need to log out. So what you want to do is type, you can take five, but I'm going to take nine, which is full access to everything. And then you go to player players here. You see the name here, group ID. You double click it, you remove the one, and replace it with a three, and press enter. And then you can minimize, enter here and login and once you're inside you see yourself as a god and you should be having your own server and you can just play with friends if you port forward on your network and uh, give them your ip address and uh, if you want to host your server for just like yourself just doing things in game. This is how you do with the IP 127.0.0.1. So uh, good luck on your project. And if you want another tutorial, just let me know which uh, TFS version. And I will do my best to uh, update you. So uh, have a good one.